Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at reference geometry in SolidWorks, how you can create planes to make your models. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button. We've got content coming weekly, so make sure you don't miss out. So um, we're looking at reference geometry in particular planes today. So um, to come up to reference geometry, it's on the features tab at the top and select plane. And the first thing to note is there is um, first, second and third reference there. So you can create planes from a combination of one, two or three um, reference points or entities. So we're going to start by looking at um, one entity, which is the offset plane. So if we select um, that face, SOLIDWORKS will give us a reference plane that is a set distance and parallel from that face. So you can change the distance like that. Um, and you can increase or decrease the number of instances as required. And then leading on from this, you can create a parallel plane at a set point. If we select that point. So then SOLIDWORKS will create um, a parallel plane at that point and you can use um, you know a different point you change it and it'll create that for you and then we're going to take a look at perpendicular so we'll select that face and that axis um, and then SOLIDWORKS will create a perpendicular face from um, your first selection or your, your face selection and you can change the angle here if you don't want it perpendicular you can go 135 there or you can go 45 whatever um, angle you want and like the offset you can increase the number of instances or decrease and you can flip the offset so if you want 45 from the other side you can do that no problem and um, you can do another perpendicular so this will be if we select this face and the cylindrical face SOLIDWORKS will give you um, a reference plane that is perpendicular to this face but also tangent with this cylindrical face so that's quite nice and you can flip the offset if you want it on the other side and similarly you can flip the perpendicular to parallel and then it will give you um, a reference plane that is parallel with this face but equally tangent with this cylindrical face and you can flip the offset on that one as well. So that's that's quite handy to know. And now we'll have a look at coincidence. So the first one is a three point or a three reference selection. So if you select three points, SOLIDWORKS will create a reference plane that is coincident with the three points. It's worth noting you can also select um, a vertice and one point, so two references, and it will SOLIDWORKS will use the coincidence um, plane to give you a reference plane through them. So that's a good one as well. And just to finish up, another one you can use is the tangent. So if you select, uh, you can select two cylindrical faces 
And if I just come on the top view there, um, it creates a plane that's tangent between the two cylindrical faces. You can flip the offset and that's quite handy. My favorite one is the mid plane. So you can select two faces and SOLIDWORKS will create you a plane that's uh, in the middle of both of them. And this also works um, with an angular as well, not just parallel faces. So that's worth having in the back of your mind. So if I clear that one and select that one, SOLIDWORKS will create you a plane that's, uh, this one's 90 here, so it'll go 45 in the middle. So um, quite handy to know. And I would just recommend, if you're not very familiar with reference geometry and planes, have a play, um, have a go, and see how you get on. Yeah, that's it for this week, guys. That's uh, reference geometry and planes in SOLIDWORKS. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Um, if you've got any questions, drop me a comment and I'll try and help. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.